What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Woody. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's Razzle Dazzle in this So today we're gonna be covering another officer in my in my officer marathon guide, uh Seven Days of Christmas with the Razzle Dazzle. Uh today we're gonna be covering uh a very uh very awesome officer, I think. Uh, her name is Aeon. She's pretty cool. She's pretty awesome. Um, she does have clothing with her, uh, which is a little, you know, a little uh, t-shirt on the top right. But I already have a separate uh, video covering that. Um, so for now, I'll just cover this and you know show you guys, uh, you know, what makes her good, what her six star contains of, you know, and her breakthrough skill and things like that. So. Without further ado, we'll be diving in. Um, but first things first, like you know how it is when you guys watch all these YouTube videos, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all know what it is. Y'all got to subscribe to the channel, like it, put the alerts on. You know the usual stuff that you never really do for other videos? Yeah, I need you to start doing it for my for my videos because I really do need to do I need you guys to just do that so that you can support my channel and motivate me to make more videos like this. Um, with that being said, if you guys support... Uh, me as a youtuber and uh also my channel and you want to see more experiments or just things like that that i'm working on in my castle um you can always donate uh, aoz coin to uh the commander id right above is three seven seven zero nine two zero eight um you can actually get it from the link below uh, that's on this channel uh you can donate aoz coins it'll go directly to me and it'll help my castle out and i could go ahead and continue to work, make videos for you guys so that i could save you a ton of money which is why you're here i'm pretty sure that's exactly why you're here you just want to learn about the game the game doesn't give you too many uh strategy guides and things like that so you're coming on here so that you can learn from me so that you don't have to waste money even though we kind of are wasting money whenever we're playing a you know mobile game but regardless of the of the of the Regardless of the fact, we might as well just uh, do the best we can while we're watching this, right? So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, now, so, Aeon, um, I would consider her uh, another important officer. Uh, she's more of a, kind of like, you know, an, 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 an attack type of officer uh, with a slight being support class, but she basically favors the frontline melee. And basically, as you star her up, um, you eventually have a choice between going to her breakthrough scale, which is magnetic shield, or her six star. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go ahead and cover what she does, why she's important, you know, why you should focus her as well, and you know what kind of increases are you going to get when you do focus her. So when you level any any officer up, like I said in my previous videos, or star them up, the effects of the skills that you have down here, you see I have long range attack, long range attack expert, and melee HP, um, you know, it increases the, the, their percentage values right there. Um, whether you're a long ranger or a mid ranger or a melee junkie, that's basically the truth of it all. Now, why does this, any of this matter? Well. It matters because as you progress and you want to become stronger in this game, starring your office and leveling up becomes very important to your overall build. Now, when you level her up, like Stormbow, she increases health, but she also increases uh, a couple of other things as well that's very important to understand. So you got melee, a troop attack, defense, and HP. So advanced melee mastery, this is basically the favoring of her stat attributes focusing mostly on the melee in the front line, which every time you level her up, it actually helps out your melee front line. Um, <clears throat> the maximum amount is 51%. So this goes across the board. It's actually in nation and in cross nation. So when you start starring her up and you get to the four star, whether you're adding melee HP or LR HP or mid range HP on her, um, it's very important to understand what happens when you get to the fifth star. You're going to actually end up having a choice between her breakthrough skill or her six star or her six star. Now, her breakthrough skill is actually really pretty, pretty, pretty cool and pretty fun. Um, when you unlock it, you can you let it turns into a magnetic shield. So the magnetic shield, I'll go ahead and cover this up. It turns basically... 
Hey, okay, let's see. It turns on, you know, front line, things like that. So we'll go ahead and use this for now. And, you know, we'll just speed through this. Let me go ahead and use this because I'm using uh, my friend Bella's castle. So let's see. We'll try this. Speed it up a little bit so you guys can see. So this is going to be without magnetic shield. And then I'll show you the battle report so you can see. That's crazy. I pressed, I pressed uh, speed up twice and it didn't even do anything. Now it does something. That just, that's such a little glitch right there. Made me spend some speeds. All right, so let's look at this battle report. So I go inside, and then you can see that. Okay, if you notice, my shredders and my armored soldiers do not have a shield. Now, let's go ahead and turn on Aeon Shield. There we go. All right, now let's go ahead and hit the same target, and you'll see what it looks like. Speed into it. <clears throat> All right, so there we go. Now, if you look at the bottom left, Aeon Shield, now that I've activated it, it's only good for one hour. After that, it's like about a three day or two day cooldown time, which I think is a long time, but whatever. Now let's go ahead and look at the next battle report. There you go. So as you can see, it wraps my armored and my shredders in, an, in a shield. Now the shield is basically on a, a health, uh, what they call a, a health stacker. It basically gives me additional health to the front line and empowers my front line. Uh, and the description of it says magnetic shield level 18. For one hour after using the skill, your melee troops get a shield at the start of the battle absorbing 12, you know, troops 36%. Uh, HP 36% of damage that shield lasts for 10 seconds. Okay, so when the shield goes The shield falls and that's it now She does have a skin um, that just came out Camel's been doing some things where they've been adding skins to the officers to empower them a little further Some of them are a waste of money, but it's right here and let's see go ahead and equip So eventually what happens is the shield turns from blue to purple when it goes to uh, fortified magnetic fluid shield. So it adds an, an additional uh, 2% uh, of, you know, it, it absorbs an additional 2% of damage depending on how many times you level it up. The shield turns purple and that's it. So I find these kind of things like, you know, they're just stacking and they're just recycling ideas. Uh, but that's basically what they've been doing. Um, so that's basically the breakthrough skill. I think it's a it's a really good breakthrough skill. The only problem is it's only it's very limited use. It's not passive, so it's only it's passive for an hour, and then after that it just goes away, and then you have a cooldown time of two days, which I think is a little bit excessive. I think that she can give you a cooldown of one day, because two days is just excessive. You know what I mean? Um. So then you have a choice of either going for the magnetic shield or the six star. The six star attributes now she has some really good skills. Um, let's go ahead and dig deep a little bit. Let's go ahead and three. So in her six star, she has increased attack of melee troops, increased defense of melee troops, increased health of melee troops. Those three are in nation. Increased defense of mid range troops and health, and then you know defense of long range troops and then health to long range troops. Increase uh, biochemical zombie defense. All oh, those three are in nation. Increase attack of city troops. Increase defense of city troops and increase health of city troops. All right, so let's cover this. Um, these three particular skills are very sim are similar to the previous one that you could find inside of Stormbow and inside of Alexandria. What it is is, and like I said in my previous videos, if you if you've been watching this marathon, is that you know. This empowers your city's troops. So basically, if somebody hits your city and you have, for example, increased attack of city troops by 12%, it gives all of your city troops an additional 12% damage uh, to long range, mid range, zombie, all that good stuff. 
The only problem is, is this is only good whenever your city is hit. So another problem with this is this is a game of not being hit. You don't want to be hit in this game. So this would be good to have on a trap city, but definitely not a city that's an attacking city because these stats will never take, you know, it'll never turn on in the uranium mine. It'll never turn on in, you know, in, in events like uh, global, uh, like triangle wars and things like that. Now, if you're, you're in global conquest and somebody hits your city, it'll turn on. If you're in civil war and somebody hits your city, it'll turn on. You know, as long as they hit your city, it'll turn on. It's like the opposite of the skill siege that you could find inside of Zeus, Tifa, and Panda. So now we're going down. Um, let's see. Increase attack of Malitra. There goes your Cross Nation stats. Now, if you guys have any questions about the Cross Nation, like I said before in my previous videos, Cross Nation stats are only effective in Cross Nation, which is the Uranium Mine, Duel of Dominance, Triangle Wars, Chaos Land, uh, Void, Frenzy, Global Conquest, things like that, and whatever other Polar and all that good stuff as well. These are all stats that, you know, that get put on. So... Uh, as you progress and, and, and you notice on the on all of her skills, she actually has, you know, something that I find very important. Um, I've said this before, and I, you know, I've told you guys in my previous videos how important it is to have these things, and it's a, a actual damage reduction skill. I'll go ahead and show you where it says reduce damage taken from long range troops, right there at the top. Let's go ahead and see if we can find this really quick. So let's see. Right there. Right underneath, increase HP of long range troops. Reduce damage taken from long range troops. Now, the only other officer that has that is Alexandria. And I've always said this, that this is actually probably one of the best skills in the six star and the officers at the bottom because and the war officers because it's this game has a lot of more long ranges than they have any other build because it's like more of the more reliable build uh you can also be you can, you can be different by being a mid-ranger or a melee guy but mid-rangers losses are typically a lot more than long ranges because they typically die first i mean you could alter your formations to favor the uh, mid-ranger but again you know it's just it's all how you build your team and how you build around your team you know I've seen a lot of people trying to go for mid-rangers, so become mid-rangers. So there's always a counter for them as well. I mean, that's, that's not the dominant build right now. It's not going to be. Campbell won't allow it to be the, the more dominant build, but it does have its advantages and its own per and its own uh, battle types of you know scenarios. But reduce damage taken from long range troops is very similar to the one that alexandria has you can also find you know that particular stat in your equipment base and i'll go ahead and cover that right now uh let's see where is it at okay right there okay under ultra reinforcement extension this is the radar the middle component says reduce damage taken from long range troops this is the same exact stat when you maxed it out on your equipment and you max it out uh and you max it on your equipment you typically get it up to 55 percent when you put it on Alexandria and Aeon, you can take it all the way to 85%. But on this one, the stat, it'll be reflective right here on this stat sheet. Let me show you guys right now. So if you see, it says reduce damage taken from long range troops, 62%. If you have triple S's on both of them, it can go up to 85.5%. So remember that you always want to get that up. Um, that's very big. The same thing is with the reduced damage taken from mid range troops. You want to have that at eighty five point five percent. But because we don't have too many mid rangers here, because you know we've all learned how to combat them, it has it, it isn't a preferable build these days down here in these ancient nations. So, what is the verdict of her? You know what what makes her so good? I mean, you can always you know she's good for your front line and making sure that your front line's beefy, has attack and defense whenever you level her up. Um, a lot of people have asked me, oh, you know, would you get her breakthrough skill or would you go straight for her six star? And that right there, out of the other um, offices like Stormbow or Zeus, um, it's very debatable. So what I find in her 
you know, in, in, in just in what she brings to the table, the breakthrough skill is really good, but it's very limited use. After one hour, it expires, and you need, like, two days to basically get it back, you know. So it's very limited use, but when you can use it, it actually helps out a lot. I'm going to go ahead and say that it's probably better to open up her six-star than it is to get her breakthrough because her breakthrough is only good for one hour. After one hour, it's done to where you were six stars. You actually basically get a lot of other statistics that will basically help your entire stat sheet and improve you as a warrior in this game. You can use, you know, melee HP. Uh, you know, it has a long range attack, you know, mid range attack, things like that, that can improve your overall build. I'm not going to tell you which particular stats to get but i will always tell you to get a go ahead and get the reduced damage taken from long range troops always because that is definitely a must the same as it would be on Stormbow, when it says reduced damage taken from mid-range troops uh, as far as building your castle it depends on what kind of castle you're gonna be you could be a melee junkie a mid-ranger or a long ranger you know so it all depends on that but you always have to make sure that your stats actually level you know are reflective to your formation so if you're using you know a lot of melee HP and a lot of uh, mid-range attack. You obviously want to have a lot of uh, front row and things like that. Um, <clears throat> so, what else about her? Well, you know, again, she she's like a support class type of uh, officer. Uh, you know, she I like her. She's pretty awesome. Camel did come out with a skin to buff her and buff her effects and give her a purple shield. But I mean, I still think that, you know, for the most part, I would go for her six star in general, even though the purple shield is only good for another stupid hour as well. It just changes the color and stacks the effects. So I feel like Camel's running out of ideas. But for the most part, she is a good officer to have. You might you need to have her to increase, you know, your health in the front line. And she's definitely a must. So that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I definitely, definitely think that uh, her breakthrough is awesome, but it's just it being only an hour long, it's just not worth it to me, man. I'd rather just get the six star and then get her breakthrough after, you know. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, that's all I wanted to describe about, you know, what she does and what she can do. Um, you know, I'm not going to come out with an officer guide on how to build, you know, your castle because that's just very complex. Um, but if you guys have any other questions below, answer them. You know, you can ask them in the comment section below. Like this video, subscribe to this video, and obviously share this video because it will help out the future of this game. And hopefully it makes me more famous. Um, I definitely want to get some more likes on these videos so that I can come out with more content and assist you guys and help you guys improve because that is my number one goal to make you guys better for a fraction of the cost. So you too do not spend as much as I did to be a freaking failure at this game. So, all right, guys, if you have any questions, this is the Razzle Dazzle. Hit me up and I'm signing out. Peace.